Hello and welcome to Storytime for Kids. Today we're going to read Time for School, Little Blue Truck. And if you like this guy over here, um, you can go ahead and look into the description below so that you see I will post a link to a playlist with this name, Little Blue Truck. And you can listen to more of his stories, okay? Um, I have books in Spanish, in English, bilingual, so it will be very nice. Here we go. Horned when beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road early one morning with good friend Toad. Little blue truck called, beep, beep, hi, to a big, bright school bus passing by. What a wonderful bus, all shiny and yellow. She stopped and smiled. Hi, little fellow. School bus. Inside, everyone sat in a row. They waved out the windows to blue below. Little duck called quack. There's school today. Little goat said ma. Little horse said nay. Lamb, chick, calf, cold. Ba, peep, moo. We're taking the bus to school. Little blue. What a wonderful job, said little blue. I wish I were a school bus too. You are a good little truck, the school bus said. But this job needs a bus instead. I'm shiny yellow. I'm long and wide. With lots of windows and seats inside. As the bus drove off, Blue heard her say, Mustn't be late for school today. Down the road went little Blue, still wishing he were a school bus too. They were almost home when Blue said, Toad, that's a piggy crying by the road. Bus stop. Oink, oink. I'm late. Poor piggy wept. I miss the bus. I overslept. Beep, beep, don't cry, said Little Blue. Climb in. Let's see what I can do. By now, the bus is way ahead. We'll take another way instead. Blue made a turn and left the road. Hang on, piggy. Hang on, toad. I know a path right through this wood. I'll get you there like a school bus should. Bump, bump, bump. The path was rough, and blue was little, but blue was tough. There were bushes and brambles and towering trees. Rock, said Toad, it's quite a squeeze. There is no room here for a great big bus. Beep, said Blue. There's room for us. <laughs> Who called the owl with mild surprise and looked at Blue with big round eyes? A gray squirrel chattered, chee, 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 and jumped along from tree to tree. When they came to a stream, Blue splashed right in. Beep, beep, he said, with a little blue green. I'm good at streams and getting wet. A little water never stopped me yet. Through the woods, what a bumpy ride. Then... There was the road on the other side. Oink, yelled Piggy. You did it, Blue. I see the school and the school bus too. Beep, said Blue. It wasn't hard. And he drove right into the school bus yard. Yeah, they actually made it on, at the same time. The school bus stared and blinked her eyes. Looks like this job is just your size. You're not big, not yellow, not long and wide, but you had room for a friend inside. You did this job in your very own way. We needed a tough little truck today. Nay, peep, oink. Quack, ba, moo. Everybody cheered. Good job, Blue. The end. 
Well, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a good time at school. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon.